Hey everyone, Scott here from Simple Mechanic Advice. Today we will talk about why your Toyota car has a low braking power. Low braking power refers to a reduction in your vehicle's braking efficiency, causing it to require more time and distance to come to a complete stop when the brake pedal is pressed. Here's what causes it. Worn brake pads, leaking brake fluid, error in the brake lines, contaminated fluid. Here's what to do. Replace the brake pads. Due to frequent usage, your Toyota brake pads eventually wear out. A squealing sound during brake application may indicate worn brake pads. Contact a professional mechanic to manage the replacement and address any critical issues contributing to your vehicle's low braking power, ensuring safety and proper system functionality. Check for brake fluid leaks. You can inspect for brake fluid leaks through these steps. Look for brake fluid drips under the car, especially after long periods of parking. Open the Toyota hood and locate the brake fluid reservoir adjacent to the engine. Check the brake fluid level. If it is too low, it might suggest an existing fluid leak. Seek professional assistance immediately, as these leaks can occur anywhere within the hydraulic system and are difficult to pinpoint without expert help. Avoid driving your vehicle at all costs, as brake fluid leaks can cause a complete brake failure, leading to high safety risks on the road. Bleed the brake lines. If the brake pedal feels spongy or soft when you squeeze the brake lines, it could mean air trapped in the brake lines. Brake line bleeding refers to removing air bubbles from the braking system. It can be done through these steps. Find the bleeder valves on top of the brake calipers. Request someone else press the brake pedal while you use a wrench to open the bleeder valve simultaneously. Once the bleeder valve is open, use the bleeding kit to allow air and old brake fluid to escape from the brake lines. Carefully close the bleeder valves while the other person presses the brake pedal. The brake pedal shouldn't be released during this process to prevent air bubbles from re-entering the brake lines. Repeat the process until the brake lines are rigid and the fluid is clear. Flush the fluid. Brake fluid can be contaminated over time with dirt or other microscopic particles leading to reduced braking performance. To solve this issue, you should flush and replace the brake fluid with a Toyota recommended one regularly. Have your vehicle brakes serviced by an expert who can help address any underlying issues with your brake fluid system. Low braking power in a Toyota is a critical issue, and professional assistance should be sought for frequent maintenance checks. Thanks for watching.